Brothers and sisters, yesterday we met as an executive committee and we seriously discussed the COVID-19 crisis that's become a global concern. We spent time in prayer and finally decided to suspend all church services in the interest of safety for our members and our communities. We cannot wait for the British government to decide on a lockdown on schools, sports events, and other large gatherings. We have to do our part to prevent the spreading of infection in all our communities. The safety of our membership is paramount. This decision calls for our pastors to provide pastoral care for all our vulnerable senior members and those with health challenges. Pastors, please keep in touch with your members. Assist them with their shopping. Take care of their needs. While the world is in panic mode, as Adventists, we can shine by the love and the care, and we can demonstrate this by serving one another. Jesus said, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. We will be having Sabbath services and midweek prayer meetings from our studio here in the South England Conference. And we are encouraging members to tune in and be a part of our worship. Pastors, please help those senior members who do not have access to or who need assistance in tuning into our services. Those members who are diabetics, cancer patients, asthmatics, and those with respiratory challenges fall under the category of vulnerable members. In this age of modern technology, we must remain connected to each other. So let's use our telephones, emails, social media to remain connected. As we are suspending church gatherings from this Sabbath, for the next four weeks, we will closely monitor the crisis and will inform you when we will reconvene as a body of believers for fellowship and worship. Once again, this decision has not been taken lightly, but prayerfully, considering the safety of our church and community members. I want to ask you to join me in prayer for the families of at least two confirmed cases of the coronaviruses within our churches. They are currently in hospital undergoing treatment. There are many who have flu-like symptoms but have not yet been diagnosed and are under self-isolation. May God have mercy on all of us. Although I do not want to cause panic among our church members, I do not want us to trivialize this matter. This crisis is an opportunity for us as Adventists to shine. Pastors and elders should discuss among themselves how best they can meet the needs of their members. This might mean meeting in the homes in small groups to pray together and fellowship. Let the churches be a storehouse where we can give some essentials to those desperately in need. Our Youth Week of Prayer, commencing the 21st of March through to the 28th, will still continue. This will continue online. 
So please check the youth department for details. Two weeks ago, I wrote out to the churches, inviting members to meet with me at the Advent Center for prayer. In light of the recent developments, I'm canceling this meeting. I will be leading out in prayer from the studios here at the South England Conference, and we will be inviting members to tune in from their respective homes and join us in this special prayer meeting. So wherever you are this Sabbath, from 5 p.m. through to 7 p.m., please join us in prayer. I'm encouraged by the words of God Almighty when he said in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. We will be here to give you a further update this coming Friday.